Okay, so um, for cylindrical shape, okay, for cylindrical shape mean that for pipe, for example, let's say you have this. Um, Okay, so let's say we have this uh, pipe. Okay, you can assume uh, your your pipe for for the water heater. Okay, for the shower. So uh, for this pipe, let's say this is this is pipe. Okay, and then uh, there will be uh, let's say the inside this pipe there will be hot water. Okay, hot water. Okay, and then temperature at this inside or in this inner pipe, we define this T1, and then temperature at the outer, okay, outer pipe, we define as T, T2. Okay, so now, uh, as an engineer, you are required to determine what is the best material, okay, so that uh, if you want to keep the the hot temperature inside the pipe so that you, the, the the pipe can acting as an insulator okay so as an engineer you need to identify what kind of material the first what kind of material for for that uh, particular purpose and then the second one uh, what is um, uh, what is the required thickness okay for example required thickness meaning that what is the required dimension or thickness for this for this pipe? Okay, so thickness. So this is the thickness for this pipe. Okay, so what is the required thickness so that you can keep the hot temperature? Okay, so the hot water inside the pipe. Okay, you can imagine, uh, for example, in our piping system for centralized air conditioning system. Okay, in that centralized air conditioning system, we want to keep that. Uh, cold temperature inside the pipe okay so that it can deliver the same temperature to each room okay so that in order to do that you need to have what we call a very good insulator for that kind of pipe okay so for this case uh, you need to identify what kind of material of course and then what kind what is the required thickness in order to keep the temperature uh, as cold as ataupun as hot as the uh, beginning of the uh, process okay now it can be done also based on the uh, thermal thermal analysis or thermal uh, circuit like one one dimensional plane uh, wall okay so now it is how we want to calculate based on uh, based on Uh, how we want to calculate based on the thermal thermal circuit okay so now uh, let's say it is uh, very common to obtain the now it is hot water flowing through this pipe flowing inside the pipe and then uh, what kind of heat transfer will be transferred through this uh, pipe convection or conduction 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 eh? we, uh, will be transferred through this solid solid pipe okay so q dot conduction uh, basically it is equal to minus uh, ka dt over d dx yes. which is thickness okay kalau dx mean that it is for uh, one dimensional plane plane wall okay but now for the cylindrical uh, shape okay for the for the cylindrical coordinate system you need to change the uh, thickness okay the thickness in terms of d dr okay so this is how to determine the q dot conduction for the uh, 
uh, for the cylinder. Okay, uh, it is ref, uh, reflect to the BR. Okay, so mean that the area. Okay, so the area for this pipe it is depending on the radius. Okay, so radius mean that uh, let's say this is uh, uh, radius one, and then this will be radius two. Boleh nampak tak saya punya ni? Boleh okay. okay, so now uh, since the area is uh, change with the radius, okay, so we need to integrate this equation so that we can get the equation that uh, that uh, will respect to the change, changes of the radius. Okay, dia sentiasa berubah dengan uh, area R1, R, R2. Kalau silinder, eh, sorry, if it is a plain wall, the area is constant, betul? Dia tak ada kaitan dengan thickness. Betul? Okay. Area is constant, but for the cylinder, the area is not constant. The area is, uh, uh, the area linearly uh, change with respect to the to the radius. Okay, so that's why we need to integrate. So to integrate this equation, uh, let's say this is since it is uh, related to the area. So let's say we can integrate R2 over R1 Q dot over uh, A dr equal to uh, ada apa di sini? Negatif K D DT and then T2 over T T1. Okay, so just rearrange this uh, base equation. Okay, so now area. So how to define the area for the cylinder? Area equal to surface area. This surface area. surface area for this cylinder ataupun pipe. Okay, so area equal to area A equal to 2 pi R. 2 pi R. 2 pi R. I J. Okay, so this is the area 2 pi R L for the cylinder. Okay, so now uh, uh, substitute A in this equation, you will obtain uh, R2, R1, uh, Q dot, uh, ni apa? 2 pi R L dr equal to T2, T1, K, DT. Okay, so now we can integrate because dr we already have R in the equation. Okay, we already have R in the equation. So we do the integration and then we will obtain 1 over R. Integrate 1 over R, you will get apa? 1 R. 1, uh, sorry, long. Long, long R. R. Okay, so mm -hmm. uh, you are going to get this in Q, Q dot uh, dr, 1, q dot, uh, 1 over r, it is equal to uh, ln, ln apa, ln, ln r, ln r, then 2 pi, 2 pi l, and then this is equal to dt, it is equal to, uh, integrate dt, you can dapat t, so, uh, uh, substitute t to, T2 minus T1. Kat sini pun you kena substitute R2 dengan R1. Okay. So that you rearrange this equation. You will obtain the final equation for the conduction. It is equal to Q dot uh, 2 pi. Okay. Kita tinggal ni. Kat sini ada K. Negative K. So Q dot equal to uh, 2 pi L K T1 minus T2 uh, divided by ln R2 minus ln ln 
R2 minus ln R, R ataupun the final equation will be Q dot uh, 2 pi LK L is length, eh? length for the pi LK uh, T1 minus T2 equal, uh, divided by ln R2 over R R1. Okay, so this is the final final equation. So uh, Q dot equal to 2 pi LK T1 minus T2 ln R2 over R R1. Okay, so length this is length eh? length for uh, for this pipe. Okay, not the thickness. Thickness now defined as uh, R R2 and R R1. Okay. Sir, sir. Yes. Kalau tu pi R L bukan dah ke volume? F tu pi R L. Surface area. It is a surface surface area. R is meter, L is meter, meter, meter square. Tak so, volume, volume this area. Now surface area. Kalau volume it is a this area multiply with the with the line. Oh. I this per L. Okay, okay. 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 So, uh, any more question? Sebenarnya ni kan, kan T2 minus T1 kan? Kenapa betul-betul jadi T1 minus T2? Because there are negative sign. Oh. Ni kan? Ada negative. Okay. okay. Yeah. Ah, ni ni. Negative K. So, negative T2, negative is so jadi T1 minus T, T2. Boleh? Okay, so uh, saya tunjuk daripada integration sebenarnya you just guna je untuk untuk uh, KJM442 ni. Okay, so now I want to relate this uh, equation with the thermal thermal resistance. Okay, so for the thermal resistance, we know that uh, Q dot equal to T1 minus T2 over over R. Okay, sama kan? 1 minus T2 over over R. So, in this, with respect to this equation, Q dot for the cylinder, for the cylinder, we can now, we know that R for the conduction in cylinder, it is equal to, apa? Equal to? Ln R Two over R1. Ln R2 over R1. Bahagi. Per, per 2 pi LK. Pi L, LK. Okay. okay. So this is the R conduction for C cylinder. Yang ni you punya ingat. Kalau R convection, sama, masih sama. R convection for cylinder equal to 1 over H. H A and then A apa A? 1 over H and then area is 2 pi R R L. Okay, so this is for this is for convection. Next one. Any question? Okay, so ada soalan yang lain? Anak ni? Tak ada, tak ada. Okay, so now kita, uh, I will show you some uh, step how to uh, how to generate the thermal circuit for for a pipe. Okay, so.
So Okay, so now you have this uh, case for, let's say, uh, thermal circuit for, for pipe or cylinder. Okay, so uh, let's say inside this pipe, you have hot water. Okay, inside the, this pipe you have flowing hot water. So at temperature, tempera temperature ambient, uh, temperature ambient uh, hot water, and then you will have uh, H uh, thermal thermal uh, sorry H is convection heat transfer coefficient, and then uh, you will have temperature one for the pipe for the inner pipe you have temperature one and then uh, temperature two for the outer outer pipe okay and then from here you will get uh, r1 and then this will be r r2 okay and then uh, outside the pipe heat there will be a flowing uh, sorry flowing air for example so there will be t ambient outside okay and then uh, temperature h at uh, apa namanya uh, convex uh, coefficient h ho okay so now beginning from this let's say this okay so now uh, this flowing hot water will transfer the heat through this pipe okay so through this pipe and then heat will be released to the environment okay so now my question is how many resistant thermal resistant for this uh, case and what resistant three three yeah so <laughs> studio online studio studio eh? okay so hey, kalau yeah. tanya, tanya terus ya tiga tiga boleh boleh okay so mananya sekarang ni kita faham lah tu Okay, so kalau kita start kat sini, first the resistance it is from T, T apa? Daripada T? T1 T1 ke T ambient? T ambient T ambient T2 T ambient T T And then kat sini dalam ni pipe and then dia transfer ke the wall T1 T1 ni lepas T T1 kan okay. and then T1 ni kan transfer dia transfer ke ke T2 daripada T1 dan ke T T2 and then daripada sini dia akan release the heat to the to the environment which is ambient we to t t ambient side okay so now for the first uh, uh, resistance we are up we are per convection to convection con con convection dia ada gerakan flowing uh, hot water Water, uh, convection. 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 So, convection. So, convection. So, convection. And then, daripada T1 to T2. Convection. Yeah, convection. 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 Then, daripada sini, daripada outer pipe, punya surface to the environment. Ini apa? Convection. Convection ke apa? Convection juga. Convection tu ada gerakan udara ke luar so, ada, 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 ada. 
Okay, so this is our uh, thermocode for this for this case. Okay, so now I say you want to click Q dot. Q dot for this case, it is T ambient. T ambient hot. Tolak dengan T ambient O, which is outside, outer pipe, to the environment, and then divided by R, R total. Okay, so R total, equal to, apa? R conduction 1. Plus R conduction one. R conduction. R conduction two. Okay. So R conduction apa ni? One over H A. H A. Jadi R conduction apa? L over K A. L over K A untuk plain wall. Ni cylinder. Oh cylinder buku. Alat lon R one R two over R one over Nah, learn R2 over R ini seperti itu. Tupai LK ya? Ah, yes. Tupai LK. 1 over H, ni H apa ni? H1. H2. Dan H2 ataupun H2. Kali dengan A. Okay. So, ni je lah. So, area where the area for the cylinder equal to 2 pi r r so mesti tanya kalau h1 ni area guna r mana area guna r mana guna r1 lah sebab sebab dia kat surface r r1 kalau ho area dia for the area, to define area, R, R, R2. Sebab dia expose to the outer. Okay. So, ada, ada soalan. So, that's all for uh, chapter 1, basically. So, if let's say you have another. Uh, and then pipe, you nak, you nak uh, insulate this pipe. Dengan contoh, uh, eh? okay. So you insulate this pipe, and then you akan tambah satu lagi uh, resistor. Okay, sama macam wall. You akan tambah satu lagi resistor through conduction. Boleh? Faham? Kalau so, nanti, nanti lagi. Yes. So, yes. Yeah. Our conventional one, tu kan? Mm -hmm. Kenapa kita tak pakai 1 over H 2 pi RL? 1 over H? 2 pi RL. Ah, sama. Okay, ini 2 pi RL. Oh. Oh. So, okay, ini 2 pi RL lah. Okay. Okay. Yang lain? Ada soalan? So, to uh, yang R convection 1, yang R2 kita ambil R1 kan? R1. Sebab kalau yang R convection 2, ambil R2. Uh, R2. Sebab dia kat luar ni kan? Surface area yang exposed to the convection. Oh. Maksudnya tak payah buat R2 tolak R1 lah. Memang ambil direct R2 eh? Ya, yeah, ambil, ambil direct. Sebab ni area dekat 1, dekat area dekat 2. Jadi dia jadi R1. Kalau okay. so, area, area dekat 2, 2 pi R to R2M. Okay. Okay. Yang lain? 